Good morning to you all. This is Maya broadcasting out the UK. Thank you for visiting me again. If you've come back to my little space in the internet, that is wonderful. And for those that are new, I normally have a channel that, or I started the channel out to be a knitting channel and a crochet channel with all my crafts, but it has evolved into almost anything and everything that I do. So, <laughs> I don't know, for some it might be too much, for others they wanted more focus. Well, I can't please everybody, so this is the way it goes. Today I just want to have a quick review. I posted on, I think it was Friday, last Friday, my homemade um, hair wash soap bars. So this is experiment number one because I've not done it the way that I made them. Just we go back to the video prior to and you'll see what I'm talking about. Not made them like that before. So first trial. Well, here we go. First trial. And I've used nothing but water and that. Let me just move back. Hope you can see. I've still got my hair drying t-shirt on. I washed my hair this morning. So there you see. I think my hair's grown as well a little bit. It's still drying. It's not completely. It's not completely dry. It's sort of a little moist so that is that's the first trial now I must say to this what I did is I hang on a minute okay here we go so I've just run upstairs to the shower to get it so this is part of the bar okay you yes, so you can I broke off a bit yeah and this is the bit I used. So what I did was I broke it off, rubbed it in my hands, took my hand and put it into my hair like this. Rubbed it again, put it into my hair like this. Okay, and I noticed, um, well, number one, it doesn't lather hardly at all. But, oh, it smells nice. <laughs> um, but you will notice a creamy feeling, right? And then I thought, oh, this is a bit too slow for me. I took the piece and I rubbed it in like that. Now, I advise you, don't do that. Okay, don't do that for two reasons. A, little bits get into your hair. <laughs> and they're quite difficult to get out. And number two, um... But I noticed you have to rinse your hair a long, long time to get to get it out. Okay, so if you're in a rush, this will not shortcut anything. <laughs> On the contrary, it will make you late because <laughs> you really need to wash and wash you know, to get it out. Like if you do it like if you do it directly onto your scalp. The other, the, the third reason. I think it's not a good idea is because um, you might be ripping at your hair roots and that's not so healthy so I noticed that as well um, so I suggest the best thing to do is either stick with the hand method like this and then use your hands just to massage it into your roots or or what you can do and this is the next session I will try it on most probably I'm going to wash my hair end of this week um just to give it a go I normally don't always wash it seven in seven days in a row well you know what I mean after seven days because my hair normally doesn't need it however I might give it another go just to get this video out there as quick as possible and I will break off not as much as this. I actually use too much as well this way. 
So I'll break off a little piece of this and I'll put it into some into a best a glass bottle. Some glass, why glass? Because I don't trust plastics um, and you don't want the chemicals from the plastic onto your scalp directly with warm water um, getting into your pores. So I don't want that. So I'll put it into a glass glass bottle or glass bowl, bottle most probably better. Put some hot water on it just a little bit and shake it up and pre-dissolve it in other words. Um, and then use that soapy water directly onto my scalp. I think that is the best method. That's how I normally do it with the powders alone and or if I use a different um, hair wash bar. But the other hair wash bars I've had previously and made previously were a lot harder. So that is why I did it this time around. I did it in a different way. Um, but I advise don't do it that way. Um, it works. As you see, the hair is looks good, looks well conditioned, has a shine to it. It's not straw at all. Um, so from that point of view, it works. It's just it's just hard work this way. <laughs> so don't do it. Um, the only downside I must say that I have today is a little bit of frizz going on and I don't I think that is more down to the humidity outside rather than the shampoo um, so I can either choose to put in a leave-in hair conditioner which I use at the moment I'm still using my palmers it's either the olive oil one or the coconut oil one um, or yeah I think those are quite good or I use the Forever Living oil. It's, in, it's not the essential oils, the, uh, what you call it? The oil that you put the essential oils in. I've now forgotten what, what the name is anyway. Or I use that just a little bit on my hands and then smooth it down just a wee bit. Or you can use also the Elviv um, Extraordinary Oil is what it's call, called. And I use, in summer, I use the UV protective one. And in winter, just the normal one. Every now and then I switch things around. Or if you have made my Indian oil, um, just use two or three drops. Really, that's more than enough. Just put it on your hands and smooth the frizz down. You don't want to oil your hair per se, like I do when I'm pre-preparing my hair. Um, but you do want to just ease the frizz off. So just two or three drops, it really goes a long, long way. You don't want your hair to look oily either. So you just rub that on. Yeah. Um, so there you go. I don't know. I haven't measured my hair, but it does look as if it has grown a little bit. So maybe I'm now at 39 inches, not quite sure. So much for the hair growth challenge. <laughs> I will measure one day. I have to find my measure, my tape measure that's long enough, actually. That's why I haven't measured. I have mislaid it somewhere. Um, so I'll be back to you and I'll most probably put it on the same video so I will keep this and it might be a little bit longer. So I'll say goodbye for today but I'll be back with the next one. Bye!